organization Innovate Durban is committed to entrepreneur development and also development within the innovation space. And that is why we created the annual Youth Innovation Challenge, a beautiful program aimed at equipping innovators and young people with the tools and technology they need to develop solutions in response to crisis, in response to challenges being faced. So it's really apt that this year, the theme for the annual Youth Innovation Challenge is responding to crisis in light of the global pandemic, but also in light of the recent unrest and the other challenges that we have been experiencing globally and nationally. So the Youth Innovation Challenge is essentially an open innovation platform that takes challenges that are being experienced globally, nationally or locally. It can be challenges being experienced by governments, it could be challenges being experienced within a sector or a specific business. It then asks young people to come together to develop solutions in an open platform where ideas are shared and ideas are generated so that the solutions that come out of the Youth Innovation Challenge are then used to address these pertinent challenges that are being experienced. So this year we are very happy to announce that we have 23 teams with about 60 participants in the Youth Innovation Challenge, youth coming across from various parts of KwaZulu Natal. And we're very happy to also announce that 50% of the participants this year are young women, which is a real achievement for Innovate Durban, and especially in light of the challenges that we face with women in the ICT and tech space. So congratulations to all those who are participating this year. I'm really looking forward to what uh, solutions our youth come up with. The experience of trying to uh, build solutions to the problems that plague our society. Create businesses, come up with something that's going to actually help us to face the crisis that we are facing as people. Just to learn so much about business and just improve everything so that we can achieve more in our business as well. The program for the Youth Innovation Challenge this year consists of a workshop week. The workshop week um, has a number of subject matter experts just explaining to the youth what is expected of them, but also taking them through some basic training and development that they are needing to develop their solutions. The second week of the program is Solution Development Week, and this is where the youth actively come up and develop innovative solutions using a design thinking methodology and approach as well as incorporating innovation within their solution development. Once the youth have developed their solutions, they go through a number of presentations and pitch to a panel of expert judges who will then use specific criteria to assess whether or not they will make it to the next round. Once those pitches have completed, we then go into an awards ceremony where the top three winning teams are awarded with the honours of being champions of this year's Youth Innovation Challenge. Alternative to feminine sanitary wear and hygiene.